Go to any city in America and you will find challenges to housing the homeless. It's been an issue in Birmingham for decades, leading to encampments like this going up, then torn down. Homeless camps were recently removed prior to the start of the World Games. This ongoing cycle has appeared to have few long-term solutions. The city of Birmingham is exploring an option adopted by many communities across the nation. Aaron Wise joins us right now. And Aaron, this option doesn't remove the homeless populations, instead offering them a safe place to sleep. Brenda, the city is calling it home for all. The idea is to construct communities with private lockable micro shelters, as well as have services that help transition a person into a more stable lifestyle. Now, what's going to be presented to Birmingham City Council members next week calls for 100 of these micro shelters to be purchased from a company called Pallet Shelter. I got the chance to speak with a couple of cities who already have these communities, and they tell me about their experience. So so far. Addison, Wisconsin formed its first pallet shelter community just over a year ago with 30 units. In our estimation, it is a safer and um, and legal alternative to uh, what we had been experiencing people um, trying to exist in um, sort of campground settings in city parks. Jim O'Keefe, Madison's Community Development Director, says 40% of people who've used the facility since it opened have gone on to permanent housing. It has been um, fully used um, since shortly after it opened. The community doesn't come without its challenges. We've had some conflict. Um, there's been the need for police presence. Um, we've worked hard at developing a good working relationship between the Madison Police Department and this, the, the on-site service providers. Um, I can tell you that, that the numbers of calls for service um, needed has, um, has declined markedly since we opened. For the site, there's controlled access and staff there nearly 24-7. For privacy, a fence surrounds the community. In Aurora, Colorado, there's two communities with more than 90 micro shelter units operated by the Salvation Army. Before this time, Aurora had one shelter and it was insufficient. A major part of all pallet shelter communities is the supportive services. This shelter model, combined with being trauma-informed, low barrier, har uh, utilizing harm reduction, all of those pieces, and bringing the community together to support those folks um, can really make a huge impact. Birmingham City Councilman Hunter Williams says finding a partner for the community will be vital. We absolutely have to have people that have expertise in this to, to execute this. The, otherwise, you know, the city of Birmingham uh, quite frankly, does not have the expertise or the capability um, to provide the wraparound services. In Madison, for their 30 units, it cost around $1 million to construct their site. Annual fees add up to around $700,000 to $800,000 for those wraparound services. Councilman Williams tells me that the budgeting costs for Birmingham's project should be discussed next week. Live in Birmingham, Aaron Wise, ABC 3340 News.